Hello, everyone, this is Maba and today, I'm going to show you how to make this fully customizable stylized texture. I will also show you how to combine the nodes into one single node like this one, to be able to edit the look of your texture, using these simple settings. Through this node, you will be able to customize the look of the texture, having complete control over the way you want it to look. Let's start by creating a IKO sphere and by setting the subdivisions on 7. Let's open the shading panel and let's start creating our texture. Be sure to enable the node wrangler add-on in the preferences. Create a Voronoi texture node and let's also add the coordinates and mapping nodes by selecting the Voronoi and pressing Ctrl Shift T. Select object from the coordinates and plug it into the vector socket. Press Ctrl Shift and click on the Voronoi texture to preview it. Change the feature output to distance to edge and set the scale to something around 1.5 and the detail to 5. Add a color ramp to add more contrast to our Voronoi texture, this will help creating a sharper look for the stone. You can put the values you prefer. Let's add a noise texture and link it to the mapping node. Untoggle the normalize option and give it a scale value of around 8. Now we need to mix these two textures. To do so, we are going to add a mix color node and set it to multiply. Link the principle to the material output. Plug the color ramp into the normal socket and create a bump node and drag it between the color ramp and the normal. Plug the color ramp into the height socket. Adjust the values as you prefer. Now, link the Mix Color node to the Displacement output and add a Displacement node. Plug the Mix node into the height of the Displacement node. Be sure to toggle Displacement only in the Material settings, in the right panel. Set the Mid-Level to 0 and adjust the scale as you prefer. Now duplicate the color ramp and drag it between the mix color and the displacement nodes. This will create sharper edges. Here's I'm doing some tweaking around to get the result I like the most. Now we need to create a node that will control the stone's color. Create a new Mix Color node and drag it between the color ramp and the principled material. Set it to Darken. As you can see, you can now change the stone's color and also adjust the factor to make it darker or lighter. It's time to create the lava. Let's add an emission node, give it an orange color, and set its emission strength. We now need to mix the two materials together. To do so, we are going to add a mix shader and plug both the emission and principles nodes into it. We need to mask the material so that the lava will only show through the cracks. Duplicate the color ramp by pressing Ctrl Shift D on your keyboard and plug into the factor. Adjust the color ramp settings to get the result you please.
Our base material is ready. I'm now going to show you how to make your own customizable node, to be able to edit your texture using one single node with multiple values. Select all the nodes, leaving the output node out, and press Ctrl G on your keyboard to group them. You will see that a node node appeared on the left. We can plug the values we want to be able to adjust right into that. To rename them, press N on the keyboard, double-click on the value you want to rename and give it the name that you prefer. Do this with all the settings you want to appear in the customizable node. Once you are done, press tab on your keyboard and you will see the customized node you just created. You can now rename the material and toggle the values to customize your texture. You can add all the values you want and need. Our procedural material is finally ready. If you'd like to support me, you can download the full project on my Gumroad. You can find the link in the description. Thank you for watching.